inferior vena cava is the largest vein in the body, and it sits deep in your abdomen. It's this vein which collects the blood from your legs and your abdominal organs. Think of it as the major highway where all roads lead into, bringing the blood back to the heart and the lungs. But sometimes people develop blood clots in the legs. We call it a DVT, or deep venous thrombosis. And there are many reasons for this. Blood clotting disorders, some types of cancer, fractures, trauma, or even just sitting on an airplane for long periods of time without moving your legs. We worry about DVT because these large clots can dislodge and travel along this venous highway, up the IVC, and then to the lungs. And this is what's called a pulmonary embolism, and it can be life-threatening. Fortunately, there are ways to prevent this. Anticoagulation or blood thinning drugs, and occasionally, an IVC filter gets placed. What's a filter? Well, this is a filter. It's a small metal device that gets threaded through the veins to the IVC using image-guided therapy. For decades, doctors have been implanting these filters using a tiny catheter, not much larger than a strand of spaghetti. And we call them IVC filters because they quite literally filter the blood. So if a blood clot dislodges from a leg vein, it won't make its way to the lungs. The clot gets trapped by the filter, and over time it dissolves on its own. Kind of like an ice cube under running water. But what happens when the leg clots are gone and the filter is no longer needed? How do we remove an IVC filter so it doesn't cause complications later on? And what about filters that were placed long ago but now are firmly embedded into the body because of scar tissue. How do we remove those filters? And why do we even need to? Stay tuned for our next episode, and I'm gonna show you how innovations like eczema laser is now allowing doctors to safely remove these embedded filters, even those placed decades ago. And through an incision, not much larger than a pencil point. And now, you're in the know.